my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I have Jax, and we're going to be working on sit. Now, sit is really important, and even though it is a very simple technique to teach a dog, it's one of the first that we teach, um, it is very important to kind of refine it, especially with dogs like Labs, because they tend to pop up, they tend to run away as soon as you give them a reward. So we're going to work on preventing that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get Jax's attention. Jack, sit. Yes. And I'm going to treat multiple times to imply that there's a stay. And what that means is that it just teaches the dog, okay, to wait a couple extra seconds because they're going to get rewarded for that patience. Now I'm going to do it one more time with Jax. I'm just going to reset him. Just take a piece of a treat, toss him on the ground. Oh, you don't want that one? If he's not interested in chasing that one, I'm just going to put him right here. Jack, sit. Yes. Once again, I'm just treating multiple times to imply that there's a stay. Okay. And the tap on the head just means that we are releasing them from the behavior. It means that they can now get up and go what they need to do. So I'm going to do that one more time. Just got to get some out of my reservoir here. Jackson? Yes. I'm also saying yes. Now, yes is a marker word that we use with dogs, and it tells them that you're doing the correct thing that I'm asking you to do. Okay. And that was really good from Jax. Now, if Jax had broken at any point of that, I would just lure him back into a sit and then start treating very rapidly um, along those lines. But I really like how Jax did today, and of course, he's doing very, very well. I really like how he's even still sitting here waiting for the next treat. That is a very good sign. And of course, we can't wait to see how he progresses. Hey, come on. 